your fingers. Mom, my baby one. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Create Blake. I'm Blake. Today we're going to make this fish with a big mouth. Wow. Today we're going to make this fish with a big mouth. This is a list of the supplies you will need. Number one, a piece of paper. Number two, a pencil. Number three, crayons or paint. Number four, black resin. And last, creativity. So the first step is you're going to fold your paper in half. And remember, it doesn't have to be straight because we're learning. And then you're going to fold the bottom half, which can open, and not the top half. And you're going to fold it to the top, to all your halves. And you can ask your parents if you need And then you're going to take this part of the paper, and so it looks like a W off the end. You're going to grab that part, and you're going to fold it down. And then you're going to take this top part and pull it like that. And that's how we're going to open the fish's mouth. And then we're going to start drawing the fish and we're going to keep our paper just like this. So you're going to take your pencil and draw sort of like an oval shape. And then, so once you have your oval, little bit of a circle, you're going to take a bit of like in the middle but not at exactly in the middle and the right side should have more space and a little bit of a curved line like that and then to make the eye we're just going to draw a circle like that and then another circle and we'll fill it in with sharpie when you're tracing and then you're going to draw i'm going to put my paper like this so it's easier and you're just going to draw a triangle for the tail and then you're going to draw a little, a bit longer than an actual rectangle, but you're going to draw rectangles for the fins. And for the lips, you're going to draw sort of like a heart, and this part is tricky. Sort of like that. And then you can draw a line through. And then, we're going to draw the background, so this is the bottom of the ocean. And then you can draw dots, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do it at the, at the end. And then you're going to draw some seaweed. I like doing mine behind the tail. And then you're going to connect the seaweed. Try to do it in the same pattern as the other line. Just like that. And then I, I like drawing two seaweeds. And I'm going to draw another one over here. Just like that. And then, for a little bit of cuteness, we're going to draw some bubbles coming out of the piranha fish. And now, we're going to draw a very at the top, a little bit of like a waggy line for the top of the ocean. And then, a tiny sun, because it's really far away. And that's why it's tiny. And now it's time for the scales. So you're just going to draw, like, start from the edge, and you're just going to draw like this, like M's. And then you're just going to overlap like this. The second row, it's a little bit harder, but when you make your M, the, um, the bottom of the M should go on the hub of the bottom one. So you're just going to do that. Beautiful fish. And then, once you're all done, 
and you're done with your fish, you're going to open it by grabbing the top and the bottom, and you're just going to pull like that, and it looks like our fish got cut in half, and then you're just going to connect everything. So I like to connect the tail first, so you're just going to do just like that, long tail. And then this part, so like the back of the fish, and then the line that um, stops the scales and the skin of the fish connecting to each other. And this whole long rectangle is going to be where we do all of the rest of the scales. And then for the lips, you're just going to draw a line connecting it. You could do it a little bit curved. So it looks like the mouth and the mouth isn't like a square. And then you're going to make the teeth of the piranha. So you're just going to do this triangle like this. Just like that. And then you're going to connect this seaweed only needs a little bit because it's behind the tail. So that one takes long. But the other seaweed isn't behind anything, so it's going to take a little bit longer. Just like that. And then you're going to leave the tail with no scales, so it's like the skin of the fish. And now I like to draw a little fish. Like that. If you don't know how, you can just draw a mini version of this fish. Like this. Then a circle. And then just like the triangle. And then the scales won't take too long at all. And then, yeah, you could just be a dot instead of that. And then you could just make a little smiley face. And then the rectangles. If you want to do it like that, you can. But I'm just going to do a little bit of both. little speech bubbles that say swim and then the other one that we say swim swim away and then you're just gonna draw all these rest of the scales it'll take a long time Done. You're done pretty much drawing the fish, and then you just fold it in back like that. And then you'll have a little fish swim to the ocean, and then it should open up and it'll be a product. Your next step is to trace everything with your shirt with your black marker and sharpie. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to use crayons instead of paint. And you could just draw the whole thing with a sharpie, but I like to use pencil and then trace it with a sharpie because it gives me more practice. Because if you just do it with a sharpie, you can't erase it.
That was a lot of coloring. I made mine like a rainbow fish, and then all the skin is just orange like a goldfish. And he has a bunch of silver teeth and a gold tooth. And that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you had a lot of fun making a big mouth fish. And remember to subscribe to see each new video. And, of course, you can hang out with me again. Bye! <laughs> it's okay. Camera, community, guys. Good videos.